Yeah! Launch someone out of the cannon in VR? No! Ah! Dude, it's like a bug's life. Two years ago, we made a video where we put a GoPro in this little arrow and put it in a cannon and fired it several hundred feet into the air. Two, one. It was a really cool experiment, but we've never really had a need to do it again. Until, that is, this year where we start getting some really cool 360 cameras. So today, I'm going to design a thing to put a 360 camera into a cannon and fire it into the sky and see what kind of cool images we can get. Yo, if we get good 360 footage, can we launch someone out of the cannon in VR? <laughs> Serious, like, is there a way to like be in the cannon with an Oculus or something? Yeah. And, like, that's the best idea. <laughs> we should definitely do that. Assuming the footage works, we could totally throw it into like any VR headset. Put you in, hit play, and watch it go. Ugh. Ah, dude. <laughs> so really, it's quarter or crew in a cannon. We have to make this work because I want to be shot out of a cannon. So the basis of this whole video will be based around this giant air cannon. Psh. All the air that was compressed in here goes shooting out through this barrel, and anything that was in here gets shot out of it at a really high speed. Here we have the Insta360 ONE X. It's the newest camera from Insta360. Even though this thing fits, it fits. It's just, it, it doesn't fit enough. So we have about one millimeter on either side of this thing that we are 3D printing. I have to be able to design a housing that is that thick. Yeah, this is supposed to stop it from breaking. Why not just use it's slightly older camera, still great. We filmed that whole freaking arrow video with this thing. So how much clearance does that buy you? I, it gives me so much more room to actually design a yeah. case around it. That's a lot of force. Like, I mean, you remember what happened with the GoPro. Oh baby, that one's so high. Fortunate news. What? We killed the GoPro! Yeah. What makes you think that's gonna survive? No offense to Insta360, but like, if, they're not if we can br for... break a GoPro session, which are like freaking diamonds in terms of toughness, I don't know if little Insta360 is gonna make it. I'm gonna get to the drawing board so I can actually start designing something to hold this thing, because look at this. This isn't, this isn't gonna work. You got this. Okay, I think I have a design. I'm actually pretty happy about this. I've been getting better at using Fusion 360 to model things. Let's hit print. I've got all three of these pieces on the same plate printing at the same time. By the end of it, I'll be able to clean it all up and stick it together and it'll be a finished product. The idea was to mimic the GoPro mortar, but this only has three fins and apparently it's more stable if you have four fins. The problem I ended up quickly running into is that in order to transform this area into something that can fit this while also still having a long enough tail to keep it stable, it quickly outgrew the bounds of our 3D printing volume. So I had to split it into different parts. One that will hold the camera and then another to fit the tail. So the thing about 3D printing is is that it lays down a sheet of plastic one slice at a time. Long ways, the plastic is fairly strong, but layer by layer, you're relying on the adhesion between each of those slices, and that's less strong. So instead, I decided to print it on its side, print up like that. That way, the plastic goes through the entire length of the thin parts of the design, keeping it nice and strong. And I think it worked! I think it worked! Get this out of here! Get them time-lapse cameras out of here! Whoa. Chances are I'll probably have to do a lot of sanding to get things to fit, but I'm happy about this. Ooh. It fits! I'm actually really proud of this little design. I managed to make multiple pieces to make a single part. And now, the final piece. This is the 3D model I was showing you yesterday, and now it's a real physical thing in your this. hands. Nice shirts, guys. Oh God, Clint, why are you always copying? You I'm... wore my shirt, that's my face! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> I'm always up to something now! <gasps> like a glove, look at that! Look at how perfectly that fits. So it fits really nicely on the one side, but the other side it has gaps, and that's so that it can actually be removed. This screw here is going to go in through the bottom like this, and then it's supposed, it's supposed to Supposed to come out the b bottom. <gasps> Aha! Check that out. So now I've got the little screw in there. That should be able to mount to the camera. It fits perfectly. Oh, and speaking of which, I just realized we have to figure out some way to launch this out of the cannon. If we just put this in the cannon right now, all the air is gonna go around it and it's not even gonna leave the cannon. So you need some sort of stuffer. Yeah, what do you call like the, the stuffers they used in muskets back in the day? Friggin' musket stuffer. Musket yeah, we need stuffer. some sort of musket stuffer. I'll probably 3D print a 50 millimeter wide circle, but the moment the disc actually leaves the cannon, it flies away. It's just meant to push, but not actually fly with the arrow here. I think this thing is ready to be fired out of a cannon tomorrow. Let's go to the park tomorrow 
morning. Cue tomorrow. And we're here, hopefully this works. Yeah, we're here today at Whittier Park to shoot a camera out of a cannon again. That's why I'm playing this beat and I'm singing this song cause Ren's gonna have some real good fun. He's gonna put on a helmet or maybe he won't. He's gonna try to catch it in the field. Maybe he won't. He's gonna ride his one wheel. He'll definitely will. And now we're gonna go and shoot this camera. We have one camera per shot, meaning that we only have enough air to fire this thing twice. And probably the camera's gonna break on each one, meaning well, one camera, one shot. I give it a 50-50 chance, which basically just means I don't know if it'll break or not. I'll hit record. Is the lens clean? It, well, he wiped it with his finger, so it's definitely clean now. <laughs> Tamper! That didn't go as planned. You gotta look, there you go, nice. Ooh, I love that sound. All right, you're good. You are recording, Wait, no, no, right? no. I'm gonna open this one up first, and then you take that off. You rolled Ready? on it, Which right? Yeah, rolling? I rolled on okay, it. It's you rolling. Ready? You go. you go. Yep. Hey, ready? This is a big moment. Oh my god. No. Wear a helmet. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. That was spinning. That went so far. So I know the cap landed somewhere over here. Nico's going after the actual thing. It like spun like crazy when it left. Oh, I found it. And it's still recording. Oh, it, it totally did break though. Dude, look at that. Yeah, so it just snapped oh, the tail no. off. But Man. that's why I printed two tails. Well, assuming it actually was able to stabilize that, it should be fine. <laughs> Where like it doesn't stabilize and it locks, and it. then it just clicked, dude. Yeah. Oh yes. my god! So much more stable looking than the GoPro. <sighs> that is so cool. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god, it worked. Can we shoot straight up next time? I think we can do that. All right, I'm gonna shoot it from right here. Three, two, one. Dude, caught it! Ooh, not bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Ren's on a phone call, potentially setting up a TEDx talk. But while he's doing that, we got fresh air. All right, let's go right. it up. <laughs> when Jake's ready. Ready? Three, two, one. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> it's way up there. Oh my god, it's so high! Boom! Oh! <laughs> it's done. It's oh. done. It's dead. It's done, <laughs> dude. It's dead. It absolutely demolished the print. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's in <laughs> pieces. Maybe the camera's that okay. so much higher than I thought. Maybe the camera's okay. Oh, it is in there, dude. It's not budging. <laughs> Sword in the stone. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what happened? I, I take it from your reaction, it didn't go well. Close your eyes. Are there, are there pieces? No. There are pieces! <laughs> what happened? Do you remember when Calvin drops his dad's binoculars and they turn into dust? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did this happen from impact? Yeah, it was buried in the ground. It went like two to three times higher than the GoPro did. We're back from the field. The third shot that went really high up hit the ground so hard it actually popped the SD card out of the 360 camera. That camera was still rolling when that card popped out, which meant that the file was basically corrupted. I tried recovering it, I couldn't do it. So we did push this whole experiment to the max to the point that it shattered the entire case. But fortunately, we have a couple good clips and I've assembled that into a 360 video that we can watch today in VR. So I'm currently inside the cannon and it looks like I'm in a freaking missile silo. <laughs> All right, shot one. Let's see how this goes. Okay, and two, one. Whoa! Actually, no joke. No joke. That was whoa. Okay, the crash landing was a little disorienting, but oh, 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 oh. Okay, that one was way freakier than the first one. Dude. Are you looking up the missile silo? Yes, I'm in like a huge <laughs> missile silo, like a little cannonball. Goodbye, cruel world. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> and crash. <laughs> this is really cool. Here's the straight up one. Look Here down, we go. look down. Oh, shoot. No, Nico, catch me. <laughs> I'm safe in the towel of Nico. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh. 
I'm like a dude, it's like a bug's life. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. There you go. What is that little thing trying to ah! Ah! Whoa. Yeah, that kind of made my stomach Whoa. go. Up. Did he, did he when you look feel? straight down that that speed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's a link in the description to an unlisted version of that 360 video so you can experience what it's like to be launched from a camera as well if you have a VR headset or Google Cardboard, whatever mobile 360 viewing platform of your choice. Yeah. Hey, we're here with another episode <laughs> of the Corridor Crew to shoot off a video for Node. <laughs> Wait, Node's right hey here. Hey guys, Nico from Node here. I am the N. That the O the is Brandon. Obviously the D is Brandon. obviously D. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and the E is from D. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not how I was going to go with that.